Okay, so one of the things that we've done is grow wildflowers, which you can't tell because uh, Noel ripped up a bunch of them, but there was a lot of borage over there. The garden now looks like this because we're getting close to or closer to winter. So the growing season is pretty much done for the main hot summer stuff. So this is kind of what you see now. And I put my, like someone had mentioned, I put my um, pineapple and my two moringa tree or three moringa trees actually under some uh, partial, uh, it's actually under a glass table. The glass table um, gets a lot more shade because it's closer to the fence, but it does get some sun too. And it's not like it's going to uh, accelerate the, the heat. Uh, or anything like that. So I don't think it's going to scorch them. The pineapple's under the um, raised bed, actually. So it will get sun, but it's not going to get the scorching heat. And soon the sun angle will change and it won't be so bad here. Uh, there was a botanist, I believe, uh, who uh, gave me some ideas or told me to move these things out of the way. Um, and they're very helpful. I really, really do appreciate anytime someone has uh, information and help because anytime someone can tell me something new or what to do that's going to be beneficial, I'll definitely do it. Take a look at the little worm right there. It's pretty cool. And that worm is actually on a nasturtium leaf. And one of the reasons why we plant wildflowers along with our stuff is because they attract pollinators and that just helps everything these tomatoes really i mean they've fallen down but they were taller than me almost uh and i'm right at six foot so they were getting pretty high but i wanted to show you this look at all of the aphids they're here this is only just a little bit i don't know if you can see and this is only on one side, but they're not on the tomatoes that bad. You'll see a few. And where did I find them? Oh, right. Zara. You'll find some that's actually right here, if I can let it focus. You'll find some right there on that tomato plant, but they're not on them as bad as what they could have been if it wasn't for the actual uh, nasturtium. So I um, had to tell Zara to go in because you can't hear. One video I did, you couldn't even hear anything. But anyway, um, so it's important to actually plant something that's going to help complement. Uh, and there's a little bee now or something um, that helps your other plants. So uh, the fact that it didn't uh, destroy my tomatoes or our tomatoes is good uh, we have a few that we need to actually harvest as you can see um, but yeah the nasturtiums not only do they attract pollinators because there's a flower right there that's remaining from one of the nasturtiums a lot of them have dried up like right there um, and right here they've dried up because pretty much this plant is dying the nasturtiums they've taken a beating which is okay right this vine here was very prolific at one point, and I think when Noelle went through and pulled stuff, she may have pulled this too, but this also absorbed a lot of the um, aphids. I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing here, but let's go in here and see. Uh, I don't think you can see what I can see here, but anyway, there's a bunch of aphids that are right there, and they will kill a plant, so they will suck it all out and uh, just really just kill a plant so it's better for the nasturtiums to die than obviously your uh, tomato plants and so they look really really nice and nice and green um, so yeah I mean that's pretty much uh, it look at these guys these have to be also a lot of spiders too uh, in here so Noelle hates that I don't really mind them spiders don't, don't bother me trap the bees. yeah Noelle is really kind of afraid of, of spiders but I'm not afraid. I, don't like them. I don't like their web here's another broken busted tomato I hate that so I don't eat those typically Tomato oh, chickens oops let me get one that's right up here 
Yeah, typically with spiders, the girls want me to kill them a lot of times if they're outside, but I'm like, if they're outside, don't kill them, you know? It's when they're inside. Uh, so I'm going to take this dude right here and eat it. And... Mm. It is really, really good. Really sweet. So, nothing better than just eating it fresh off the vine. Get this little guy here. Throw it over to the chickens. It's already... Nope, didn't make it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to do this little garden update video. The, um, like I said, the um, moringas are starting to spring up a little bit. Look, there's a butterfly. I don't know if you got to see it. Yep. Maybe not. Yep. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Join the uh, Discord, which will be down in the description box below. And until next time... You see kitty. Oh, there it is. You see kitty right there. This is his favorite. This right here, this is a tangent. This right here is overgrown celery. Now, it's dead right now, but it comes up every single year, which is strange. Even when it's cold and wintry, we planted that like two years ago, and it comes up. There was another one, but it died out. I don't know if this one's going to die out for good or not, but anyway... Yeah, it's from a grocery store scrap. Yeah, it's from a grocery store scrap. This brown dead right here is borage. The problem with borage is it reseeds really heavily <laughs> and it loves this climate that we're in. So all of this is going to be borage next year. You can see the seeds from the nasturtiums down there um, as well. Here's another nasturtium flower. They're really, really pretty. Uh, the tomato or the peppers, or not peppers, onions. We just leave them. We let things just go. Um, there's Indy. Hello. We find that if you just leave some of the things that we're not really going to harvest go, they tend to do really, really well. Everything in the garden does very, very well. So, um, yeah. And then, of course, here's our, I keep forgetting what that is. Lavender. 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 So, Noelle has harvested quite a bit of that, so you don't see a lot of the, the heads on it. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, this is actually uh, the end of the video. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Until next time. I will see you. Take care.